Hi there, I'm Black Bright and somebody sent me a video and I thought it was really important to share with um, black people, in particular the protectors, the fathers, the brothers, because I felt that this gentleman in this video handled the situation very well. As you know, say Javid has brought out the new section 60, which means the police can stop and search anybody without any reason whatsoever. They can have they can have a slight suspicion. It is supposed to be that they believe that you're going to commit a violent crime. But in essence, they don't need a reason. Bearing that in mind, a lot of family members don't know that the police do not need a reason. And they could be provocative. They could get angry. They could get both the victim who's been held plus themselves in trouble. So I commend the way this young man handled his little brother. So that with that background, I'm going to show you the video. To make sure. No, no. I want to stay with my little brother while he's searched. After that, I, I, I've said to you three times, my little brother. Yes, this is what I'm saying to you. This is offensive. He gets it all the time. He gets harassed all the time. Now this is on the street. Look, everyone's looking at us. You've actually admitted that you've made the mistaken identity, and because you've actually pounced out on someone like four people deep, it's very stressful for him. Now you're assuming that he's done something wrong. He's done nothing wrong. This is literally. Profiling. This is actually borderline racial profiling. Mate, we don't worry about the complaint. All I need is the handcuffs for him. But I don't know why the handcuffs are in him. You're detaining him. He's seven years old. He ain't running away, mate. And mate, if he's running away, I'm, I'm sure you can hold him to each arm. Mate, listen to this, yeah? You see, this guy's got a problem with you, yeah? Like, don't give him a reason. This one here, innit? Just show it. But I'm telling you, you're searching. Why are you searching? See? But you're searching. You've got, mate, it's gone past embarrassment. He's now on the street, surrounded by four police officers like he's a terrorist. It's gone past embarrassment. Have you finished your search? Can you move your bike? Now you might have a phone number. Sorry, one minute. Have you finished searching him? Are you happy with the search? Yeah. What? What well, do you want to go now? You don't wish to ask no more questions, do you? All right, can you um, unpack my brother, please? Thank you. Any chance of apologising for the mistaken identity? Because you stopped him. Mate, it don't matter. You stopped him. All right then, let's not. All right, mate, let's not worry about the um the search. But your initial reason for stopping him was that you saw you thought somebody weren't. Now, can you apologise? Like, that? thank you, officer. Thank you very much. All right. Now that's right. Now listen, 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 officer, officer. You understand that? Brother, you understand that? Yeah. Listen, oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And that's it. You see, the thing is, the problem is, is that the police are looking at the wrong faces in the wrong places. And, you know, one thing about black people, you cannot tell what type of person they are from their facial features. That young boy happens to look quite menacing to some white people. He might look like he's a convict, but if you don't know black people, how the hell are you going to do your job? If you don't get to know them and understand them, how the hell can the police do their job? They're just stopping at random. Fortunately, like I said, they, the police didn't have to give a reason and they did. They gave the, the, the two people a reason of why they stopped. But under this ASBO law, it's going to cause a lot of problems if you do not know that the police can just stop without no reasonable suspicion. Please tell your brothers, tell your sons.
that the so just chill because that situation could have imploded exploded it could have gone horribly wrong four other police officers you know the boys handcuffed I don't think that they should handcuff a boy when they're stopping and searching I think that's a bit extreme I mean a stop and search is a stop and search and when you've got four and one one boy I don't think that is necessary unless the boy is behaving in an aggressive manner and then you do that to restrain them so I think that is inappropriate but I was so pleased with the, ba the way his elder brother handled that situation. And I had to share that with you. Um, the police really need to have some kind of um, culture. Well, they can't get cultural understanding because how can you befriend what you fear? A lot of white people are afraid of black people, so they don't get to know them. And so when they don't get to know them, they can't understand the innuendo, they can't understand their character, they can't understand their personality. And when you have that kind of conflict and one has a job to do and the other one is, I'll call it for want of a better word, a victim, how, as, how are the two going to marry themselves? So I really don't know what the answer is. The best answer is to avoid any kind of conflict, to avoid detention. Just let them search. Hopefully you haven't got anything. Hopefully your children or your brothers or your people don't have anything on them that is offensive. No bladed weapons because the police do have a job to do. And then you can go on your merry way, your son, your brother, whoever it is, can go on their merry way and get home safely. That's all I've got to say for now. Bye-bye.